Okay, we've made it to Dubrovnik and it is amazing. Wow. Blue green water, castles, giant castle walls surrounding the city. It's awesome. I don't know where we're gonna park. <laughs> You can tell how steep this is. It's insane. There's so many stairs. <laughs> this place is awesome. Medieval castle town on the beach. Green blue water. Wow, Dubrovnik. Cool. All right, pricey tickets for the Castle Wall Walk, 35 euros, 15 for kids. Okay, I have only one for kids. You don't have tickets, you have to stay with me. Perfect. But we think it'll be worth it. I know some of Game of Thrones was shot right here. Look at this water. So cool. I just can't describe how cool this is. <laughs> this walk with these castles, with the watercolor, it's just amazing. The walls aren't very high on the outside. They're really thick. So you feel like you're not gonna fall, but it's high up here. Really big castle complex. There must be insane amounts of history that um, are involved with this. It is so visually stunning. How'd they build on top of the rocks? When was this built? What was the actual functions of all the places? Did they get attacked? Did they have to defend themselves? Wild. You must come walk the castle walls of Dubrovnik, even with kids. We have an eight-year-old and a six-year-old. They're doing fine. They say it takes an hour, hour and a half, two hours max. Well worth it. The sights are beautiful. It's expensive, but so worth it.
our parking spot. We were lucky to get in this place. It's awesome. I don't know where we're gonna park. There's the micro. Micra. He was one of the best European players ever. Some say that he is the best shooter to ever play. However, Drazen Petrovic is really mentioned in those conversations as he only played in four NBA seasons because he tragically passed away at the age of 28. With 43.7 behind the arc, Petrovic is fourth on the NBA all-time list for three-point percentage, about half a percent better than Steph Curry. <laughs> So many steps, so steep, but so worth it. Awesome experience, 10 out of 10. on a four hour drive to Dubrovnik. When we booked this trip, we weren't gonna rent a car and we weren't gonna go to Dubrovnik because it's so far. Now we have rented this car and I am really excited to go there. That's the place I think of when I think of Croatia and walled cities. And I think of my cousin Aaron Hall, who told me Dubrovnik was one of his favorite places to visit on earth. Um, long day, but it's gonna be awesome. It's all good. Dog review good enough, but nowhere near my job to hot dog. That was an Animal Crossing tunnel for bears and foxes. We'll have to figure out what kind of bears they have here in Croatia. But they build all these bridges for to walk around. I've seen a bunch of 1950 graffiti on things around here. I wonder what the significance is. Croatian independence, maybe. Malgosha had us discovered that 1950 was not revolution it was a soccer club why do the americans insist on calling it soccer soccer why do they have such a problem calling it football it's a game played with a ball that is struck with the foot it was started after croatian fans witnessed the passion of the brazilian fans in the world cup they came home and started their own soccer club are you following this america the clue is in the title it's not that difficult the group of sailors Driver was very passionate about his football team, and he told me 
me that the other football team was shit. 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 And that they were a group of politicians or something like that. So. Whereas American football, as they call it, is a game where an object that's not really a ball at all, it's the wrong shape for a ball, is carried around by hand and occasionally thrown for other people to catch in their hands. You see? Fourteen euro for our toll road, well worth it. We stopped at this beautiful little overlook on our way to Dubrovnik. We're probably about an hour, hour and a half away from Dubrovnik, and it is gorgeous here. We're driving by this castle wall on our way to Dubrovnik and it's got like these walls that climb up this mountain like all the way to the top and then there's some sort of castle thing on top and a little flag but I've never seen anything like it where there's walls straight up the side of a mountain it's crazy onward to the small town of stone and neighboring Mali stone you see the entire border of the town a stone wall to protect the village of stone and also Mali stone close by and it wraps up around these dramatic cliffs and you can actually climb up the city walls. There's a few people up there right now. Let's go! Okay, the kids want ice cream. I really want to find those shame stairs from Game of Thrones. Shame, 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 shame. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, shame, shame. 
Mas me brigas facar com sua mão Por este medo me nenico E eu não tenho uso mais aos mil Se eu vi no materino And we went down the stairs My daddy said In like a Netflix episode She like uh, There's a naked woman That went down that And people were yelling Shame 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 And she was naked, and they were throwing rotten fruits and vegetables. Yeah, that's what that is gonna happen, but not for real. It was just in a movie. I can do it, baby. I think Lord of the Rings. One ring to rule them all. And now we're trying to find the gondola. <laughs> Gondola ride was amazing. Like SeaWorld old times. You see, in America, the action is deliberately kept short so that the sponsors can get in as many commercials as possible. And also so that the players don't have to think for too long. 